What's going on guys? Jada Black here. Shout out to everyone tuning in. Make sure y'all like this video and share it because we're going to talk about hypocrisy. We're going to talk about the realities of today and, and why a lot of married men have to accept their wives doing and being in certain positions, right? And, and we're going to get into this. And again, I'm not saying that Alicia Keys went out of her way. Uh, to insinuate or to display herself a certain way. She's always displayed herself as a very classy woman. But I want to get into what Cameron and Mace had to say on their show, on their podcast. They were speaking about, like others, they were speaking about this situation and they had a different perspective than some, right? Even Swiss Beats himself. And their perspective was similar to mine. You know, Usher, in his own way, is being aggressive on stage with Alicia for the sake of the music, the performance. Even though I've never seen Usher on stage, you know, just hugging up on women. I just, I haven't seen it. On, the only time recently is during his Las Vegas residency, right? But other than that, when he's performing on stage that I've seen, he hasn't really been, uh like how he is now and again i'm not gonna say i'm not saying this because i don't know of usher or listen I'm a, I'm a fan of usher i've been a fan of usher since the early 90s since the, not the early 90s, excuse me the late 90s back to his my way album right and you make me wanna right that song and and nice and so y'all remember those <laughs> from the night y'all remember that we're going way back we're going way back right so i do think usher deserves this moment um of being able to perform he did a very good job he's probably one of the best halftime performances in a long time i'm talking a long time right just very well put together but and we're still talking about it due to the hug and again i, I saw the clip and i see people making excuses even swiss beats himself again i talk about how these married men just have to sort of laugh off or try to deflect from what we all saw, anybody with two eyes saw that there's some chemistry there, but it's also Usher went a little bit off script. And you could tell by Alicia's uh, sort of her reaction a bit towards the end of it. You know, he went off script a little bit, did his own thing. And again, I'm not saying Usher's a bad guy. I'm just saying there's a trend in, in Cameron. Cameron spoke about it. And we're going to get into what Cameron and Mace had to say. According to Hip Hop DX, Cameron and Mace have criticized Usher for hugging Alicia Keys from behind while performing at the Super Bowl on an episode of their sports show, It Is What It Is, that aired Monday. The Harlem rappers reflected on the intimate moment between the My Boo collaborators. Alicia Keys, she did her thing too. Mace said while recapping the halftime show, I don't know how Swiss Beats felt about that hug at the last part. But it was a great performance. He was aggressive with people's females, man. He's aggressive with people's females, man. Cam chimed in, which his co-host agreed with by pointing out that Swiss that Swiss beats wife, right? And that is like he is. It's like, bro, you're 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 singing. Not only are you singing to these women, you're dancing with these women on them. He is a, he is showing a bit of aggressive aggressiveness towards them in the sense of sensual aggressiveness. Uh, people say that's all part of the performance. Killer, who said he spoke to Swiss about the moment, continued Usher, got a look on his face, a deviousness. But she had a face like, calm down a little bit too. I'm just saying like, yo, that's my man joint. Like, yo, my N word, calm down. While Usher and Alicia Keys' performative flirtation made headlines during the Super Bowl halftime show, the latter's Husband seemed unbothered by what the people have been saying about it. the day after the event. Swiss Beats, who has been married to Keys since 2010, took to social media to respond to the steamy moment and the internet chatter surrounding it. The producer made it clear that he had no issue with Usher hugging his wife, saying y'all talking about the wrong damn thing. Y'all don't see that amazing dress covering the entire stadium. Tonight's performance was nothing but amazing with two amazing giants. 
Congrats, Usher, and my love, Alicia Keys. That song is a classic. We don't do negative vibes on this side. We make history. You know, considering Swiss Beats is history. You know, Swiss Beats has a history of stepping out. <laughs> Allegedly, but, you know, he, he's done that before. And listen, it was a great performance. It was. Probably, I said, like I said, it's one of the best in years. Usher, it was well put together. It, it just was well thought out, well put together, right? But the, you could tell they went a little bit off script towards the end of it. And what else is Swiss Beats going to say? Swiss Beats been allegedly cheating on Alicia Keys for years, right? Side chicks. So he's going to allow this to, to ride out because of the things that he's done. And he doesn't want people bringing up his past, right? He doesn't want to become the husband that's publicly shaming his wife. But again, people are going to talk about it because people have two eyes. They can see what's going on. And they saw that Usher went and, you know, <laughs> listen, Alicia Keys was looking good. You know, the performance was going well. And he wanted to cap it off by, you know, showing his love for Alicia. Right. But again, due to Swiss beats and his own history of cheating, allegedly, uh, I, I can see why he's taking this route. Others felt differently with Boosie Badass demanding an apology from Usher. <laughs> Usher, enough is enough, bro. You need to apologize to Swiss. The Baton Rouge rapper wrote on Instagram, she married my N-word. I know that wasn't planned. Y'all see that line? She married my N-word. I know that wasn't planned. It wasn't. And you could tell by Alicia's reaction that that wasn't planned. And people are upset because a lot of men, and I believe there are women as well, who were saying, you know, what is he doing? See, Usher has a history of being very flirtatious with the wives and girlfriends of other men. People say it's performance, his performance. Well, he's the only performer doing that. It ain't like with Chris Brown when he does his after performance meet and greets, right? Those women pay to be hugged up on by Usher. Not excuse me, Usher, Chris Brown. Chris Brown actually, you know, he charges women money to take pictures with him and they will take, do all these poses, right? That's different. He's not performing as after the show. They paid to be there. That's pretty much planned. So what, what Boosie is saying is that that was not planned, Usher. You did that on your own. You were feeling yourself because he knows he's going to make a ton of money off that performance. Now, they don't get paid hardly anything to perform their money comes from streaming and other things and endorsement deals. They're probably going to get off this and, you know, touring, right? Cause other people are going to want to go to shows where they see Usher performing similarly. Uh, so he was feeling himself and, and people should understand why a man would feel this way. Swiss beats is not going to say anything publicly due to what he has done allegedly already. Undefeated world champion boxer Javante Davis also had a negative reaction tweeting Usher would have been on his way to the hospital as I write this if I was Swiss. The onstage cuddle evidently didn't ruffle any feathers in, Rush in Usher's home own relationship as the R&B legend reportedly married his girlfriend Jennifer in Las Vegas on Sunday night following the Super Bowl. So he married her that night because he knows that his everything financially for him is going to go up even career wise up streaming numbers are going to go up he doesn't care you know um usher's going to do usher and again shout out to him he did a great performance but that wasn't planned and you know swiss should be a, swiss is probably if he's upset he's not going to say anything he's not going to say anything because he knows that he's gotten himself into some <laughs> It's just some issues on his own. So he's not going to say anything publicly. He's going to let it ride out. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, X, Instagram. Check out all the other videos I posted already. And I'll see y'all next one.